When working with raster data like Landsat 8 imageries or Sentinel-2 and similar satellite images, very likely your downloaded data will be of a larger size than relative to your required study area. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can clip your raster data to the required vector layer. In the description of this video, I'll drop two links to videos on how you can download the Landsat 8, Sentinel-2 and similar satellite image from USGS website or how you can download it directly here on QGIS. We'll be using QGIS software application for the clipping and I already have mine in a preset folder so you can organize yours for better navigation. To import it into QGIS, we'll be importing the um, raster data, which in this case is a Landsat 8 image, which I downloaded for a project. And then the um, vector data here will be the a part of a project which I also worked on, just a section, a local government area. Click on Data Source Manager. If you don't find this button on your toolbar, right click and make sure you check the box data source manager toolbar so here to import the raster data you click on raster click on file and browse i can navigate to it you navigate through the directories to where yours is saved and this has to be a .tif file which is this in my case you can do the same thing for a sentinel sentinel 2 image or similar data it's imported then to import the vector file i click on vector browse the shape file format comes with different other um, extension file extensions imports specifically the .shp format and open add and click on close when you are done and you can see it so now if i'm to work on this particular location there will be no need and making analysis for the whole um raster tile which i downloaded from usgs i can just make my analysis to this specific location let's make the boundary um a lot more noticeable so that we can notice when our settings have been changed double click on the file it opens up click on symbology if you have to make any other settings here that's very good but yeah, we'll click on symbology, simple fill. I hope you can see where my cursor is. Simple fill. We change, we can change the fill style from solid to no brush. We can change the stroke color to something that we can easily see. We can change the stroke width to one so that it becomes more visible and that's about it okay so to clip your raster data i'll just take this off click on raster extraction you use clip raster to mask layer we we'll set our input layer to the raster file, .tif file. Then your mask layer is set to your boundary which has been selected. Mm, all of these are optional settings. This just set it to zero. You can run it this way, but I prefer to save my file to something specific rather than a temporary file 
Shift Swift File. Select the directory where I want to save it. And I can save it here as the name of my channel, Special Data Hub. If this video is helpful to you, don't fail to subscribe to it and keep our channel moving. And then click on Run. Fine. Close. So we can turn off this. We can turn off this if we want, but this is it. So that layer has been clipped perfectly to our boundary. If you have, um, that's why when downloading um, data from USGS, you notice that the map tiles might not be exactly where you want it to be. So you can download multiple map tiles that overlap into each other, such that when you import a vector, like vector layer, it doesn't lie outside it and you won't be left stranded and have to go back again. Check the description of this video you'll see how to download Landsat 8 images or Sentinel-2 images from USJS. Don't fail to subscribe to my channel, Special Data Hub, and I'll see you in the next video.